marks the beginning of yet another increment in utility tariffs, particularly water and electricity. Now, according to the Public Utilities Regulatory Commission, consumers will pay 30% more for electricity and 8.3% more for water. In simple terms, electricity you buy for 100 cities would not last as long as it would have in previous months. And same for water. But how is the public taking this? I don't think the leaders really think about this because we are already suffering. And with this increment, I think even the money we make for a month doesn't even reach us. We are not able to spend to our own heart content. And right now they are increasing things without increments in our own earnings. We are already on the ground. I think they want to rather bury us right now. My standard of living is, is affected or is merged by my salary. And then my utilities need to, what, to also uh, go down a bit, um, such as the, the ECG increments and then the water, I would have to reduce the usage by making sure that I have enough to save. Whether you stop using your kettle, your microwave, on those electrical things, you now have to think about it. And that means even if you are buying power, you have to buy more than you used to buy. If you you say you're buying. Now you can't even buy 50 cities. Now you have to buy like 100 cities. External communications officer of the ECG, Laila Bubakar, explains the effects of the increment. If someone bought 100 cities previously in January and it was able to sustain them for a month, now they're expecting that when they buy 100 cities, they're going to get 70% of the value. We as a business, would love it when you consume more because then we can make more money because our business is in selling power to be able to conserve power and use it longer we are just entreating everyone to be more mindful of the way they use their electricity at home for now consumers will have to heed the advice of the electricity company to be more efficient in their use of electricity judith awachitando tb3 news